Hey, we're back at the DeSoto Raceway program. I'm Jojo Steele along with Mike Minx and uh, Freddie Wagner from Marine Surplus. Freddie, one of the sponsors of the show, we'd like to thank him. Of course, we talked about you sponsoring cars and the, and the division of the track. He also sponsors the show, so basically, this is your product. You, you like it so far? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, I am fun. <laughs> just wanted to check on that. And I believe Bob uh, on line one actually had a question. Bob, you there? Yeah, I am. You had a question uh, for Freddie. Yeah. First of all, I really like that Red Dog uh, label he's got on his car. Thank you. That really looks good. Um, Fred, I was wondering if you could uh, pass tech after a race, even though your car was mostly assembled in uh, Brooksville. And really, you know, where you guys go when you win the feature? Yeah, well, what the hell you go after the race so we could, uh, you know, get some autographs and uh, some pictures of your car? Well, Bob, um, this car I'm driving wasn't assembled in Brooksville. That was the one I had and sold. But anyhow, if my car could pass tech, I'm sure it can. I got two uh, really good guys working on it, one being Danny Egg and the other one being Wallace Ramsey. As far as where we go, nearest Denny's or nearest place to get something to eat. <laughs> He's left with us. Uh, after the track, too, you guys usually park your cars out in front, and you can always uh, go out front and see you guys out there as you guys are getting signed out. Uh, of course, Freddie always stay late to pick up a trophy or a check, so usually catch you guys out front. Maybe no get checks, a picture. Jojo, it's cash. Oh, it's cash? It's cash. Uh, you can see Freddie's eyes lighting up over there now. That's why we go have breakfast. <laughs> we got money. <laughs> um, but a couple of the sponsors we'd like to thank, besides Marine Surplus, for coming on the show and helping us out. Hooters Racing, uh, Eldridge Auto Body, uh, they take care of a lot of cars up at the track. Uh, the Driver of the Year Award, Dave uh, Pletcher Racing, Hi-Fi Racing, and Goodyear Tire and Rubber, which uh, all the cars at DeSoto Speedway run Goodyear Tires. And that's just pretty much a basic rule we have to have. So everybody's pretty much the same. It makes it a lot easier uh, on all the cars. Now, Mike, as a driver over the years, have you ever... Uh, seen any differences at the track, uh, tire-wise? Any any good things? Any bad things? Or Goodyear is pretty much the way to go. I think the Goodyear is a good way to go. It's uh, they're a little more expensive. When I first started racing pure stocks, we used the bias tires, and they were only thirty-two dollars. But you went through a set like oh, every week. I had to go through a new right side tire at least one a week. And uh, I believe the Goodyears, we'll have to ask Fred about this, but I believe they last three or four races at least, don't they, right side? They'll last you three to four weeks if your car is running and handling right. Right, if it doesn't have a big push or something right. like that wrong with it. So actually, you know, it's $82 as opposed to 32 but if a $32, $32 tire lasts two weeks and an $82 one lasts three or four, you know, it's about the same, so... Okay. Um, well, that answers that question. So, of course, you guys together over there kind of outnumber me on the driving taxes, but that's all going to change on June 29th. Yeah, I'm going to give, give you a driving lesson, race. buddy. <laughs> <laughs> you promised me a driving lesson on the Thursday before. You said I could come out and you teach me. Uh, he was going to speed up, Fred. Now, you can tell me if he's, he's team. He's going to speed up in front of me and let me follow him around. Is that all right? Or should I worry about some brake check driving? <laughs> With Mike, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we have uh, a lucky program number to call, which is good for some passes uh, to the South's fastest show track. Uh, we had our program right here. We could hold that up again. On the back page, on the outside cover, right in the bottom, I you'll see a, a number in the bottom that's stamped there every week. And when you go into the track on your way in, pick one up. They're only a buck. They contain the previous week's winners, driver roster and points, uh, some snapshots of the crowd, uh, sponsorship info. The lucky number is on the back, which we're going to use. We also use that at the raceway uh, during Saturday night to call a, a whole bunch of program uh, prizes. Uh, plus that night or on this show, we can call it some stuff as well. Like we're going to do right now. So from this past Saturday night, uh, pull those out. You know, go to your magazine rack and find them, bad boys. We know where they are. And just sitting around for good reading material. There's always something going on. And if you check the back page and your lucky program number is 7778, we have a couple of passes for you. Just call the DeSoto Speedway. The area code is 941-748-3171. Call them. Tell them you have this week's lucky program number. And uh, they'll let you come on up and take some free passes. It's a family pass. So you can bring two adults and two children right into the South's Fastest Short Track and enjoy all the action this Saturday night. Mike, now the officials race coming up, it's Bill Graham Ford night as well. You gonna run your Thunderbird? I'm not gonna run my Thunderbird, no. Although, if we're gonna get, if you brought up the Thunderbird, you did it. Because we, we have this argument each and every week about NASCAR, about who's running and where it's running and why they're running. Now we know what you're running in your division, a Chevrolet, but if you had a choice to run the big circuit, what would you be running? Monte Carlo or a Thunderbird? Well, Monte Carlo's look good, but then again, those Thunderbirds run off from them, so I don't know. That'd be a tough choice. It'd be real tough. 
<laughs> you can answer the question, Mike. I know we know the answer, but you can you can say it. I'd be I'd be driving the black three. I think if I had my choice. <laughs> now that car always uh, wasn't black. We we discussed that this past weekend when Dale Earnhardt first got into racing. Believe it or not, maybe he wasn't as. Uh, I don't know, they call the Intimidator now, driving that black three car. Maybe he wasn't as intimidating when the, he started racing and people found out his real name was Ralph and he drove a pink car. And then he changed things around and became Dale Earnhardt, drove the black three, and since then everything's going pretty well for him. Wouldn't you have to say uh, things have been intimidating from the number three car? He's definitely a wheel man. You know, he can do simply phenomenal things with the car. He's, um, We've got a couple of them out at DeSoto that just are phenomenal. Well, you need to come out and check out the action. I guarantee you, you'll enjoy it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm still putting the big bucks this year on Dale Jarrett to pick up uh, maybe the championship. Well, my, wife, my wife loves you then because well. that's, her, that's her driver. <laughs> we have she, to thank your wife. We thank so many people. Your wife probably does more paperwork for this show. Yes, she and, does, uh, and she'll I'll appreciate you every saying week. that. <laughs> well, if she's a Thunderbird fan, now I can talk about her more often yeah. <laughs> now that I know. She's a Jarrett fan. Oh, a big Jarrett fan? Through. He got his first win when we were on our honeymoon up in the Poconos. He won the race for her, he said. Wow. We still have one more division to talk about, the Sarasota Jungle Garden Street Stalkers. Um, we're going to have some footage on that, I believe. Let's run that. We can give you the highlights of the Sarasota Jungle Garden Street Stalkers from this past Saturday night. Oh, actually, we're going to check out, before we get to that, Freddie Wagner, your car, uh, as it gets all set up, getting pulled on the trailer. It's beautiful, ain't it? the best wheels in racing. Yeah. You love those wheels, don't you? Yes, I do. I knew so. The rest of the car is just absolutely spotless. I mean... Thanks, he keeps Mike. it really looking nice week after week after week. And in the street stock division, that can be a tough job. Oh, Am I, I think, right? <laughs> yes, you are. I think part of uh, some of the best racing you'll see up there is, is some of the guys that come out each and every week and keep their cars really tuned up and really clean. Uh, it's good for their sponsors. I mean, you are, you're, you're, you are your sponsor. <laughs> That's but why if, he keeps if it you, looking. If you were, uh, in Johnny Shields' reference, if Johnny Shields came out with that beautiful 37 uh, Marine Surplus car, which is, you know, only uh, not even a month old at this point, and every week he came out and had it all banged up, I think the sponsors would be like, well, I don't want to put my name on the side of that car. So uh, you'll see a lot of sponsors come out each and every week that'll keep their cars really clean and really tuned up, and they look nice. It puts on a good show for them. Um, now, these are some of your pit crew guys working on your car before the race getting all set up. That's Wallace Ramsey and, uh, of course, Danny Haig. You've seen him earlier in there. You'll see him again. Those are the two guys that really keep the car running. They also keep the car looking as good as it does. Now, as they run through some stuff, can you tell us anything about some of the procedures you go through each and every Saturday night to get your car ready? Um, for an event or for a show, I mean, obviously the car sits during the week and you, and you work on it, but when Saturday morning comes around, you know you're racing that afternoon, that evening, what procedures do you go through to check the car over and to get it finally ready, uh, to get it all hooked up to run? Basically, they size the tire, set and stagger, um, you know, usually set the timing, make sure that's set, just a few things like that if we didn't tear up anything or had to make any changes or anything from the week before. Any minor adjustments? And this is you getting strapped in or unstrapped. I think it's me getting out. <laughs> you getting out of the car? Yeah, it was a little warmer. Yeah, you can see your crew, chief, your crew members already have the right side jacked up to check that stagger. So you like to check that right when you get come off the track, right? So it's as accurate as it can be when you're running. Is that correct? Yeah, that's part of it. The other part of it is it helps me get out of the car. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we can all we can comment that we saw Jeff Gordon's car getting jacked up on uh, one of those TV commercials during the last big uh, Winston Cup series where they the Coca-Cola 600 where they jacked the front of his car up about 18 feet to help him drink his soda. But uh, I guess if you know you want to say it, you I mean you said it, Fred. So we can't deny it yeah. now. We'll talk about that for the rest of our lives. That Fred has the right side of his car jacked up to help him slide out the window. <laughs> Now what are they doing here? Just uh, making some final adjustments underneath the car. This is probably after heat races, or is actually what happened? That was after warm-ups, and the spring bucket got tore out of there. And uh, that guy there come over and repaired it. Actually welded it up, which held the rear end in place. And here we go. This is gonna. There's still daylight, so I'd assume we're looking at the the heat races. This is heat race. Yeah. Yeah, for the Sarasota the Jungle Garden Street Stocks. Yes, you can you see how they uh, they line up nice, but it doesn't it doesn't last that long. We talked before about three wide racing, about uh, cars going into the banks three wide, how well there's, that really doesn't work. There's Fred right there. He started second row inside and he's already got around the 
uh, guy who started it right ahead of him, and he's working on, I believe that's Rocky Palmer in the 72 car. Yeah, yeah I believe Walker it is. The racing car? Yes, one of the Henry Walker's old street stock. Mm -hmm. Tommy Kelly used to drive that car. Here you're making an inside move on him. Now, Rocky's done some dirt track driving. This is his first year out on pavement, and they're, uh, Fred letting his crew know that they're going to have to do a little paint work on the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the right side there as he gives Rocky a, a nudge on the way by. As a veteran, I guess that's what you get to do, though, when the, the rookies are out there. You can go on by and, and uh, give them a little nudge to say hello. So remember, Joe, this is a contact sport. That's right. You think football's got contact. You haven't seen anything until you come out to, to the Soto Speedway. But that's part of racing. Good, clean racing doesn't necessitate uh, not touching the person in front of you, behind you, or next to you. It's, it's a matter of just giving the open lanes where it is and, and driving clean. And, and there is some contact uh, occasionally, but that is part of driving. Freddie, I'm sure you can uh, uh, talk about that a little bit. You, you probably get touched, what, four or five times, maybe six <laughs> times in a good race? Yeah, at least that many times. But you consider them all clean hits, usually. Uh, yeah, most of them are. Most of those guys are pretty good drivers. I don't have too many problems. Every now and again you do. As the, the heat race wound up, we get ready for feature time. There's Freddie. Now with us over here, uh, a man who's been in racing a few years now, sponsored by the Marine Surplus Company. You are the owner of that Freddie Wagner driving the number 22 car. want to thank you for coming on with us, Freddie, and we have a few questions for you. <laughs> if you're ready, I'll try. All right. Um, now, we understand your first sponsorship involvement was back in 1992. Who was that? I got started in racing with George R.U. Rima. I had a hard, hard time saying it. Well, you know, when we used to announce him, he said R.E.M.A. Yeah, the Birdman was the easy way to say it. I got started with him sponsoring him. That's really how I got started in racing. And that was your first involvement with racing as far as anything to do with, uh, I mean, were you a big fan watching it on TV oh, I was each week? a big fan, yeah. Always watched it on TV and been going out there for years. But as far as involvement and sponsorship or anything like that. So if somebody as a business I owner came up to you, or the Birdman, and you know, said, come on, put me in a car, I'll do well for you. I, I had known George, yeah, before that. And then he got involved in racing, asked me to sponsor, so I decided I'd help him out. Now, of course, that was your, your first entry in DeSoto as a, a sponsor, and now we're going to be talking about you a little bit later as we show the highlights. You're out there driving each and every week in that uh, beautiful Marine Surplus number 22 car. Thank you. Uh, we always say it's got the best wheels in racing. <laughs> <laughs> How did you uh, decide that, you know, uh, I'm paying the bill for a guy, Oh, maybe I should pay for my own car to be out there. What what motivates you to take the, the plunge out into the track? Well, the truth of the matter is I had a race car. was sponsoring a guy. race car ended up being stolen and um, acquired another car through a man who used to race out there. Still races out there, but got rid of the car. And ended up getting that car just about ready to go and reacquired the other car. Found it. So I ended up with two cars and one driver, so I decided to give it a try. Well, there you go. I'm sure Mike Minx would have uh, loved if you'd called him at that point. Of course, if you had an extra <laughs> call, you know, Mike would probably. And if you're out there right now and you have an extra car, call give him. Give him a ring. Yeah, give him a <laughs> ring. Uh, of course, you own this a very successful business, uh, Marine Surplus, which sponsors two different uh, racing divisions. The, the sort of late model division, John Shields, a brand new Mopar, the Marine Surplus car, absolutely beautiful, along with uh, Junior Purcell and his Monte Carlo. You also sponsor the entire modified mini class. You rent a billboard of the track, you help sponsor the big show. And What effect has all the involvement with the track done for your business over the years? I mean, you went from being somebody on the outside who just was a race fan to sponsoring one car, to sponsoring two cars, now you sponsor uh, a couple of late models, you sponsor a division, you got billboards up on the track. Uh, every time we, we talk about DeSoto Speedway, it seems we have to mention Marine Surplus. What has that done for your business? Well, it's, I think it's helped my business quite a bit. There's, there's quite a few people that have come in because of it. Um, my involvement is, of course, I like the competition. I'm a real race fan. So, you know, it just goes, one goes hand in hand with the other. So, I like to help people out. I like to watch the races. So, it's been pretty good for me. Of course, now we know that um, with the new program, the way it runs uh, this season, they run six divisions out of the seven. And, of course, you could be off on some nights. And I bet there's not too many nights we don't find you out of the track. That's true, correct? Yeah, I'm a big spectator. I go out there even if I'm, if I'm not racing or if I am, of course. But yeah, if we're off, I'm still out there. Why don't you let us know real quick where your business is and uh, a little bit about it so uh, uh, we can get you some, some activity down there as well for all the fine work you've done for us. Well, basically what we do is we sell marine supplies, marine equipment. Um, we're located about a mile, mile and a half north of the airport on what they call Old 301. And basically it's anything supply-wise from bow to stern, about anything you can ever want other than the engine. 
<laughs> Other than the engine? Other than the engine. But you yeah, got racing yeah. engines, right? Well, we got a couple of those, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see that coming up in just a few minutes. Right now, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, some more phone calls. 371-BLAB uh, is the number if you'd like to give us a ring. And, and we really do want to thank you, you for coming out with us, Fred. Uh, a fine sponsor of the track, a fine sponsor of his own car, and, and definitely one of the, uh, the up-and-coming drivers out there. Only been a couple of years behind the wheel, but you certainly have some fun each and every week. So thanks for coming out. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. We'll be right back with the DeSoto Raceway Program.